This is the actual monument the Israelites placed the golden calf on in the book of Exodus. All right, let's see it. Located in Saudi Arabia, at the base of what is believed to be Mount Sinai, there is a large monument with pictograms of cows on it. Many of the locals in the area claim it was the altar the children of Israel built to worship the golden calf on. So the petroglyphs on that rock formation depict numerous different animals, not just cows, and they are Nabataean in origin. They were put there between the 4th century BCE and the 2nd or 3rd century CE, so they come from at least a thousand years after these events were supposed to have taken place. That's also not a human-made altar, that is a natural rock formation. Those rocks are far too large for humans to have put them together to create an altar. There would have been absolutely zero reason to create an altar that large as well, and the narrative does not suggest that any such thing took place. They have even found what looks like ancient furnaces in the area, as well as the molds that would have been used to melt down the gold and create the golden calf. Metallurgy was common all over that region for many, many centuries, and there are absolutely no data whatsoever that link any of this to events that were supposed to have taken place between around 1400 and 1200 BCE. Not only that, but they also found ancient Hebrew carvings on nearby rocks, including a menorah, a symbol associated with the Jewish people. So these inscriptions and petroglyphs were discovered in 2006 by a Christian medical doctor named Sung Hak Kim, about 90 miles from where they went to locate Mount Sinai. So they're not anywhere near that altar, and they are not ancient Hebrew inscriptions. They are written in what is known as the Thamudic script, which was created by the Kingdom of Thamud, which arose around the 8th century BCE, so over 500 years after these events were supposed to have taken place. This is the geographic range of the Thamudic Kingdom, and the red dot represents where they're trying to locate Mount Sinai. Now, the Thamudic script was actually used far more broadly. It's found all the way up into Syria, it's found in Egypt, it's found all the way down into Yemen. Here is the Nabataean kingdom, again dating to around the 4th century BCE to the 2nd or 3rd century CE. So, the fact that we find a menorah associated with Nabataeans using the Thamudic script somewhere after the 4th century BCE is not earth-shattering data. These people want to turn it into ancient Hebrew and even pretend to translate it to talk about melting down gold to create a calf, and none of that is accurate. This is pure and utter nonsense. With all these discoveries, along with the close proximity to Mount Sinai, have led many to believe this is the actual spot where the golden calf was worshipped in the book of Exodus. And again, many are entirely wrong. And the fit for this video has been DuckTales-a-woo-hoo!